I studied wildlife at Virginia Tech, but while I was there, they didn't talk much about searching for carcasses. But here I am, underneath the house trailer, looking for whatever dead animal it is that's keeping the people upstairs from sleeping at night. Usually, you show up, and there's a candle or two burning, but there's green shiny flies buzzing around, and a smell that's bad enough to make your eyes water. Once you're under here, finding the carcass is the tough part. Well, that and getting around. Possums tend to like the bottom side of the house trailer. They'll crawl up in that black plastic. I don't know if they get lost or they just like to go there when they feel sick. But you tend to find them underneath house trailers. Takes a bit of searching to find one. That bulge right there over my hand is an opossum. Takes a few tricks to find one. You learn it pretty good after you've done a few of these though. The only way to get it out is to cut the fabric. Now, those are maggots falling out. After it's been there a while, things start to decay, and flies have no trouble finding the carcass underneath there. That's an opossum part that just fell out. More parts. There she is. Once you open it up, you can see a little bit of opossum parts. Sometimes it's smiling back at you. No matter how many times you do this, you always feel like going home and taking a shower. Doesn't matter if you're wearing a white suit or not. If you smell bad smell in your house, and you think that some poor critter has crossed over to the other side in the wall or underneath your house, give us a call. We'll climb in there, we'll find it, pull it out for you. It's time to head home for that shower I was talking about a little earlier. Thanks for watching. This was Pat the Wildlife Guy for the Wildlife Company.